大家好 Welcome to uh, Learn Chinese Cafe's Chinese Sentence Patterns series and we are on episode 2 and today we are going to look at this pattern here 无论怎么说也 and then uh, whatever speech comes after it uh, so this pattern is used to express the idea of whatever happens or regardless so typically uh, this phrase would be used when there's some kind of discussion or argument going on, uh, debating about what to do next, and someone is coming up with excuses about why you should act in a certain way, and then the other person is saying, well, it doesn't matter what excuse or whatever you say, we still need to behave in this particular manner. So I have a couple examples here. Um, so we'll just take a look at the English first. So here, uh, in any case, you should start looking for a job as early as possible. So it sounds like here there's a person that's putting off the task of looking for a job. Maybe they're coming up with various excuses. And then the speaker here is saying, well, you know what? None of that matters. In any case, you should start looking for a job as soon as possible. So what we have here would be, uh, so we have the 无论怎么说也, so doesn't matter what you say, okay? And then the 也 doesn't translate. Of course, you know 也 means also, but you'll notice that in the English translations, you never see the word also. So this is also a good lesson on how you can't translate things word for word. You have to think of what the meaning is that's being uh, conveyed and then how would we most appropriately say that in English and so in Chinese even though ye is part of this construction the ye doesn't directly translate so we have you know regardless or no matter what you say should and you notice in Chinese often whereas in English you would need a pronoun like you no matter what you say you should like down here you should but notice how the pronoun you is absent. We don't see any ni here. And so very often uh, you'll hear learners of Chinese language throw in a ni when it's not necessary. So we can just jump right into ying gai should zao yi dian earlier, or earlier than the person is intending to. Begin kai shi zhao, look for gong zuo. So one more time, wu lun zen me shuo, Okay, let's take a look at the next example. And so here again, uh, in the previous example, we had uh, in any case, so you notice how depending on what you're communicating, um, the 无论怎么说也 isn't always going to uh, translate the same way. In this uh, case, I found it more appropriate to say it doesn't matter what happened. Uh, here it's talking about it doesn't matter what you say, but I felt like happened was more appropriate, so I used happened. You could very easily also say it doesn't matter what you say. Um, so you have some leeway when you're translating. Uh, so here we have it doesn't matter what happened, you can't be unfair to him like this. All right? So here there's an argument going on. Somebody is treating somebody unfairly, and they are coming up with excuses of why they're justified in treating that person unfairly and then the speaker here is saying no 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 it doesn't matter what happened uh, you can't treat this person like this so let's see how that comes out here uh, okay so it doesn't matter what you say you can't Dui ta toward him, jiang like this, bu hao badly. So, in Chinese, when we say uh, when we say something like wo dui ta bu hao, it means I'm being unfair to you. I'm treating you unfairly. I'm doing bad things to you. So here it's ye bu neng dui ta jiang bu hao. You can't to this person like this be unfair. And there you have it. Um, be sure to provide your own examples 
in the comments area on the Facebook page or on the YouTube channel using Wulun Zemashuo Ye, and I will do my best to respond to each post. Be sure to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel and also like our Facebook page. And we will see you next time on episode 3. Saijian.